Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DKNG. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways, just to establish some context here. But very nice bounce on this one today. I mean, you stop and think about the fact that at one point, the price was literally all the way down there, but the price has since been able to fight back upwards. So, I mean, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Don't get me wrong. But the point here being is the price did make a nice bounce, which leads to the more than valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? And I have no idea. But by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at $38. Now, why is 38 important? And I'm not saying at all that this is what's going to actually happen. But if the price were to come down to this level, behave like that, and then just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal point of view, that would quite literally be putting the price right back at basically the lows where it already was. And not to insult your intelligence, but price moving set, go back to where it was, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. To be fair, no price can go straight up. So maybe the price comes down here, behaves in this manner, then starts to work its way back upwards. Now, all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have these lows down there if you envision each of those as stair steps. Well, hey, there you go. Now you have stair steps making progress in the upward direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is going to do over time. It's going to make progress. And again, in this situation, quote unquote, progress being defined as $38. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, main area of resistance on any sort of attempted bounce back to the upside going to be right up there around $39.50. And then next key level of resistance after that would be the purple line up there, the 50 period simple moving average. But as of right now, nice little bounce from the lows. Now it's just a question of can the price build upon this momentum moving forward? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.